This video is brought to you by Ultium 365. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT based and out student time tracker or implied time tracker system using the Node MCO ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, the R557 biometric sensor, an I2C supported SSD1306 or LED display module, and Google Spreadsheet or Google Sheet. So without any further delay, Let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The reason behind selecting this particular biometric sensor or fingerprint module is that it's low cost, smaller in size and it's insanely fast. It operates on a low voltage of 3.3 volt, making it ideal for battery powered systems. It can be used with 5V and 3.3V compatible controller boards like Arduino, ESP32, STM32, ESP8266, Raspberry Pi Pico and so on. With this capacity of fingerprint sensor, you can easily integrate biometric authentication into your projects. Supply voltage is 3.3V, working current is 30mA, peak current is 40mA. Fingerprint image entry time is less than 0.3 seconds. Collection window area is 12.8 mm in diameter. Security level is the highest. Image resolution is 508 dpi. Working environment temperature is from minus 20 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. There is an RGB LED inside this module so when the fingerprint sensor is on it shows blue light. When the fingerprint scanning operation is successful, it shows green light and when the operation is failed, it shows red light. It includes a storage capacity of up to 120 fingerprints, a fast recognition speed of under one second and a high resolution image sensor that captures clear and accurate fingerprints. For more technical specifications, read my article available on electronicclinic.com. First wire is the VD. This is the finger detection power and this wire is connected with a 3.3 volt. Second wire is the IRQ. This is the finger detection signal wire. When there is finger, it outputs a high signal. Third wire is the VCC and it should be connected with 3.3 volt. Fourth and fifth wires are TXT and RXT. Both are 3.3 volt TTL logic level and sixth wire is the ground and it should be connected with the ground. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit diagram. The VT and VCC wires of the R557 capacity of fingerprint sensor are connected with the node MCO ESP8266 3.3 volt pin. The IRQ wire is left unconnected. The TXT and RXT wires are connected with pins D3 and D4 and the ground wire is connected with the ground pin of the node MCO ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The ground and VDD pins of the SSD1306 or LED display module are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Whereas the SCK or SCL and SDA pins of the OLED display module are connected with the D1 and D2 pins of the Node MCU module. D1 is the SCL and D2 is the SDA. On the left side is the regulated 5V power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. This is optional. If you want to power up your project using your laptop or PC, then there is no need for this 5V regulated power supply. But if you want to externally power up your project using a 12V battery or adopter, then you will need this regulated 5V power supply. As usual, I'm using the same ESP8266 development board it doesn't matter if you don't have this development board, you can do all the connections on a breadboard. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now the next step is to install the Arduino library for the R557 capacity of fingerprint sensor. For this open the Arduino IDE, click on the sketch menu, go to include library and then click on manage libraries. Search for the Adafruit fingerprint. Click on the install button.
you can see my Adafruit fingerprint sensor library is now installed. Next for the fingerprint enrollment, connect your Node MCO ESP8266 Wi-Fi module with the laptop or PC and upload the sketch. You can download this code from our website electronicclinic.com. You can see the code has been uploaded. Ultium 365 lets you invite users to your workspace so everyone can collaborate on projects and access the latest design revisions. To invite a user to the workspace, click the name of the workspace and select My Ultium 365 to open the workspace configuration in your browser. On the left side, select Workspace Members. Click the Invite Workspace Members button to start the invitation process. To invite a user, enter their email address in the Aid Members field. You can invite multiple users at the same time. Finally, you can add a note that users will see in the invitation. After entering all the necessary data, click the Invite button to complete the process. Specify the administrator role for the invited user. Once a new team member accepts the invitation, they will have defined access to the workspace and can collaborate with other members. I have added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart, the world's fastest component search engine. Now let's get back to our project. Next, open the serial monitor. And follow the instructions. Right now it's saying please type in the ID number from 1 to 127. You want to save this finger is. So I'm going to type 3. Now I can place my finger. I'm going to place the same finger again. Now my finger is enrolled and its ID is 3. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps for another finger and this time I'm going to use 4 as the ID number. You can see I have successfully enrolled two fingers. One finger is going to represent Fahad and another finger is going to represent Fawad. Now let's go ahead and start with Google Sheet for time tracking. You will need to carefully set up your Google Spreadsheet or Google Sheet for logging the required data. If you miss anything, you won't be able to get it connected to your Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. This is the same Google Sheet I set up for my ESP8266 and PN532 NFC RFID module based student or implied time tracking. I only change the name of the Google Sheet while everything else remains exactly the same. So for the step-by-step -step explanation, watch my video tutorial on the Google Spreadsheet and PN532 RFID module. I have added a link in the description. This is the final code and these are the same libraries I previously used. If you compare this code with the RFID and Google Spreadsheet based project code, then you will better understand how and why I made certain changes. And one more thing keep the main code file debugmacros.h https redirect.cpp and https redirect.h files all in the same folder. You can download this complete project folder from our website electronicclinic.com. Anyway, let me show you how I use the finger IDs and what values I'm sending to Google Sheet. If the finger ID is 1 and if u equals equals 0, means if the person is scanning his finger for the first time then send these values to the google sheet and if the person is scanning his finger again means if the person is leaving the class or office then these values are sent to the google sheet so using the same technique we can do it for the other students or employees i have already uploaded this program and now let's watch the google sheet attendance tracker in action Right now my Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and laptop are connected to the Wi-Fi. Let me also tell you, it's not necessary to use the same Wi-Fi network. You can use different Wi-Fi networks. It is an IoT based project. You can monitor the employees or students in our time from any part of the world. And as you can see, there is no physical connection between the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and my laptop. Anyway, on the Google spreadsheet, I can monitor the date, time, name of the employee or a student, the ID and the in-out status.
The OLED display module is optional. If you remove this, it won't have any effect on the project. But it's good to use a display because without the display, you will be confused and you won't be sure if the finger is successfully scanned. Right now, on the OLED display module, you can see the message waiting. This means you can scan your finger. When it successfully scan a finger, the message success is printed on the OLED display module. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.